Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Band 9. Today's lesson is great for IELTS writing and IELTS speaking. My name is Maria and I am training you step-by-step -step how to achieve Band 8 or Band 9 in IELTS in no time. So you need to follow my videos every week and every day to and subscribe and make sure to help your friends to achieve their IELTS band eight and nine by sharing and liking the videos on YouTube. Uh, today's lesson is about coordinating conjunction. I'm going to share my screen with you and more than welcome to save this page if you like. And then of course, share it with your friends to help your friends to get their band eight or band nine. Coordinating conjunctions, they glue the ideas together. For example, if you have simple sentences in IELTS, you're not gonna achieve higher than band five or band four. However, to improve your IELTS band marked band six, seven, and eight, you need to go step-by-step step in adding these skills in, in speaking as well as writing. The first skill is coordinating conjunction. As I mentioned earlier, these are connectors. The words like and, but, for, nor, or, so, and yet are considered as connectors. They connect the ideas, simple ideas and simple sentences in order to avoid having simple sentences. Therefore, to improve your skills, you need to use them often. Avoid overusing them. For example, someone who is using these words many times and repeating, for example, and, or, or, so, and yet is band five. IELTS candidates who do not repeat them, but they use them sporadically, meaning every two sentences, every three sentences, they get band six and higher. You can use these words. These words in acronym or in short are considered as fanboys. And uh, I give you some examples. Coordinating conjunctions connect the words or phrases or clauses. For example, if I say the bowel of squeak, eyeball stew is hot and delicious. What did I do in here? I connected two adjectives in this sentence. It is great. And if the examiners see your sentences, um, having these connectors used, you get band six and higher. I give you another example. The squid eyeball stew is so thick that you can eat it with a fork or a spoon. What did I use in here? I used two nouns, a fork or spoon. Make sure that uh, you use or because you are providing options. So it's not only using the connectors or the coordinating conjunction, it's how to use it and where to use it. So make sure that you use the grammar appropriately. I give you another example for but. Rocky, my orange tomcat, loves having his head scratched, but hates getting his claws trimmed. What did I do in here? After loves, I use ing form. So you see my phrase in here, it said having his head scratch. I use but, and then hates getting his claws trimmed. So I use the parallel structure before and after. I give you another example for yet, but and yet they have the same meaning. They show either options, but at the same time, you don't need to repeat. As I mentioned earlier, when you repeat the connectors, you get band five, not higher. Therefore, instead of repeating but, you can use yet, which is interesting. You don't repeat, but you have various options. Rocky um, theorizes the poodles next door, yet adores the German shepherd across the, the street. So it's very important not to repeat the connectors and so on and so forth. Nor it has the negative connotation, which means if I say Rocky refuses to eat dry cat food, nor will he touch a saucer of squid eyeballs too. What did I do in here? I use the inversion. Inversion means I use the auxiliary. So my sentence after nor, it looks like a question, but it's not a question. 
It is called inverted phrase or inver inverted, in this case, inverted clause. After negative adverbs, we always use inverted clauses. Um, I hate the next example for four. I hate to waste a single drop of squid uh, eyeball stew for it is expensive and time consuming to make. For in here, it means because. When you use subject and verb after for, it has the definition of because. Instead of saying because, I use for, which makes my sentence more interesting. The last example for the coordinating conjunction, which is the lesson for today, even though I added cream to squeeze eyeball stew, Rocky ignored his serving, so I got a spoon and ate it myself. So it shows the consequence. Something happened, something happened as a result of that. Welcome to IELTS Band 9 page. Make sure that you subscribe this page. Make sure you share this page with your friends because one lesson a day will make your IELTS band score um, higher. Um, students improve by following the videos as well as Instagram IELTS band nine in two weeks, two bands in two weeks. Have a great day and see you till next time.